is my new video on the topic communication so let's study today communication communication is a broad topic which is usually used in various commerce subject either you are in bcom or bba or ca or cs a particular topic communication always is there so let's start with communication what is communication so let us uh, see where it came from communication the word communication com came from the latin word communis which means common this uh, from latin word communication is derived so these are the two very easy and basic definitions of communication communication is an exchange of ideas facts opinions by two or more persons and communication is a process of passing information and understanding from one person to another so let us understand this particular definition so to understand this definition let me explain you in a simple way suppose there is a person there are two persons there is a person a and there is a person b they both are good friends so they need to communicate and how is communication possible or how is communication going to be done for example a needs b's shirt b has two shirts two black shirts one plain black and one printed black a requests b and tells him b i need to go to a party and i need your black shirt a was referring to the plain black shirt whereas b thought a needed printed black shirt so what a tried to convey to b did not convey in the same sense as a tried to do so b took it in other sense so this is called miscommunication communication is complete only and only when when both the parties that is the sender and the receiver understands the same thing in the same sense so communication let's again come to the definition of communication communication is a process of passing information and understanding from one person to another and if there is no passing of information and understanding then there is no communication so these are the basic two definitions which are very easy to learn and memorize first communication is an exchange of facts ideas opinions by two or more persons or second communication is a process of passing information and understanding from one person to another let's understand the nature of communication what uh, what are the various features or nature of communication it involves at least two persons of course if you need to communicate to somebody you need two persons the sender who is communicating and receiver who is receiving second it is a two way process it is not a lecture that someone is going on telling communication is only complete when there is a feedback third purpose of communication there should be a particular purpose to communicate if you are calling somebody or uh, writing a mail or talking to somebody there is a particular purpose behind such talking then it is communication there are different forms of communication it can be verbal non verbal written non etc scope of communication there is a very big scope of communication at any level of organization you need to communicate so communication is much more than words yes of course communication is not only words communication is understanding communication is exchange of ideas opinions facts communication is uh, going to a deeper understanding of individuals from one another so let's understand the need of communication with the growth of size of business advanced technology achieving objectives tough competition growing specialization trade union movement human relations public relations these are the various reasons or need of communication now process of communication it is very very easy to learn and understand i'll give you a simple trick so for communication there should be a sender as well as a receiver correct the sender will encode the message the receiver will decode the message the sender will encode the message and send it in a transmission form then it will be received by the receiver receiver will decode it and give feedback for example i need to invite someone at the birthday party so i am the sender i'll encode the message i'll either whatsapp it or write a mail or call or meet somebody and invite them so that is my encoding process 
दैट मीन्स इन विच फॉर्म आई वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट टू द अदर पर्सन मैसेज वॉट इज माई पर्टिकुलर मैसेज इन्विटेशन ऑफकोर्स ट्रांसमिशन हाउ डू आई ट्रांसमिट इट थ्रू वर्बल नॉन वर्बल थ्रू मैसेज और वॉट देन द रिसीवर रिसीव इट he decodes it he understands that okay this person is inviting me for the birthday so i have to go or not and then he gives the feedback okay i will come or i'm sorry i will not be able to come i'm busy that day or something like that so to remember this it is very easy sender encoding message receiver decoding feedback and then there is a transmission when this chain is completed a communication is completed feedback should go to the sender then the process of communication is complete now let us understand the barriers of communication barriers of communication means all those things which put a barrier in communicating which means if i cannot communicate to the other person the reasons of no, of not communicating two particular person is called the barriers so the first barrier individual differences two people have different set of opinions different levels of thinking so of course there will there will be individual differences while communicating second noise there can be noise that is physical noise and that can be disturbance for you so that you cannot hear the particular person and understand what he is saying wrong assumptions yes of course if you don't know the particular whole topic what he is talking about or what the other person is talking about you can make wrong assumptions and that may lead to miscommunication difference of interest yes if both have difference of interest there will be miscommunication of course poor retention words with different meaning yes uh, in different languages a single word may mean uh, may mean differently so the person receiving the message may take it differently as compared to the sender who send it he send it in a different sense but the receiver took it in a different sense of course it will be leading to the barrier of communication the last offensive style of communication if you scream and communicate no one will listen to you so of course your style of communication should not be offensive it should be friendly so this is the basic thing what i covered today is communication nature of communication need of communication process of communication and barriers of communication let's take a quick re- recap of what we did communication is came from latin word which means commu- uh, latin word communis which means common communication has two def- definitions communication is exchange of ideas facts from one person to another and communication is proce- process of passing information from one person to another nature of communication there are lists of features of communication then the need why do we need to communicate in organizations then process process is very easy sender encoding message receiver decoding feedback and there is a channel transmission channel then we have barriers all the set of these reasons that why we are not able to communicate properly if you have any doubt in these particular topic or in this particular video you can please mention in the comment section below uh, thank you so much and please subscribe